M. Shrikanth Rathod. So today we will learn 10th standard, CBC 10th standard, chapter number 2, polynomials. First, the question will arise, what is polynomial? So let us give first introduction. Let us give first introduction. So what is the meaning of polynomial? As you learnt in 9th standard, poly means, poly means many, poly means many, nominal means term, nominal means term, nominal means term. So many terms involved in a polynomial. So one definition will be there. That definition is an algebraic expression, an algebraic expression, expression, algebraic expression is in the form of is in the form of form of that is p of x or f of x is equal to a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus and so on a 2 x square plus a 1 x plus a naught here here a naught a 1 a 2 a 3 and so on up to n are constants are constants x is a variable here x is a variable and algebraic expression is in the form of p of x is equal to a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus and so on a 2 plus a 2 x square plus a 1 x plus a naught here a naught a 1 a 2 a 3 and so on a n are constants x is a variable so we can define in another way also instead of x you can take any other variable also y z a b c or anything you can take or okay, any variables you can take so here the very important thing is that the power of x i mean sorry so the variable x the power of the variable will be always a whole number so whole number means what the degree of variable degree of the variable present in the algebraic expression degree will be always belongs to whole number that whole number is nothing but what here 0 1 2 3 4 it doesn't include any negative sign or any root irrational numbers okay so whole number means 0 1 2 3 4 and so on so we can say here for example for example that is x square it is a polynomial so x plus 1 it is a polynomial x cube it is a polynomial so you can take x square plus 2x plus 1 by 2 it is also a polynomial so let us now discuss the types of the polynomial types of the polynomial types of the polynomial so that we can learn all the things in detail types of the polynomials as you know that few students may be known that is what are the types of the polynomial first we can say that linear polynomial linear polynomial Second one is quadratic polynomial. What is that? Quadratic polynomial. Third one is cubic polynomial. Similarly, another two polynomials are there. What are those? That is constant polynomial as, as well as zero polynomial. Constant polynomial as well as zero polynomial. That we will discuss later. Here the, the important types of the polynomials are linear, quadratic, cubic. Okay, so let us discuss one by one. So first one is linear polynomial. What is that? First one is linear polynomial so any linear polynomial will be having the degree of the variable will be one so that is see here the linear polynomial the general form the general form of a linear polynomial will be always ax plus b where a should not be equal to what zero so you can write here x plus two it is a linear polynomial see here degree of the variable that is variable here it is x the degree of the variable is 1 so it is a linear polynomial so you can take here x this is also a linear polynomial so x plus x plus 3 it is also a polynomial linear polynomial x plus 1 by 2 it is also a linear polynomial so always the degree degree of the degree of the important thing degree of the linear polynomial degree of the linear polynomial will be always here one so the linear polynomial we got the idea next we can learn this is first one second we will take as quadratic polynomial what is that quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial any quadratic polynomial having the general formula like this see here general formula 
or general form of the quadratic polynomial is nothing but ax square plus bx plus c. Okay, so here a should not be equal to 0 because if a is 0, this whole term will be becomes 0. This is one term, this is one term, this is one term. So maximum how many terms are containing here in quadratic polynomial? Three terms. That is one, this is one thing, this is second term, this is third term. This is constant. Here a, b, c are also constant and a, b, c belongs to here real number. Okay, here also in linear polynomial a and b belongs to real number. Here also a comma b comma c belongs to what? real number so you can take now example here so x square this is a this is an example for quadratic polynomial you can take x square plus 2x plus 1 or you can take x square plus 2 uh, 2x plus 3 okay these are the examples of quadratic polynomial but you cannot take root x because the x is a variable the power of variable will be here a root x means what x to the power 1 by 2 but 1 by 2 is not belongs to what not belongs to whole number so you cannot say that it is a polynomial okay so just now we learned the quadratic polynomial it will be in the form of ax square plus bx plus c where a should not be equal to 0 and one more important thing here the degree degree of the quadratic polynomial degree of the quadratic polynomial will be always what 2 degree of the quadratic polynomial will be always what 2 next the third type of the polynomial we can um, say that that is cubic polynomial any cubic polynomial any cubic polynomial will be of the form that is the general formula will be or general formula or we can say general form okay ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d here also a should not be equal to 0 if a is 0 this term will become 0 then the cubic polynomial will reduces to what quadratic polynomial so a should not be equal to 0 here also a b c and d belongs to real number and the power of the variable is here whole number see 3 3 is a whole number 2 is a whole number here 1 here nothing is there means x to the power 0 0 is belongs to whole number so x to the power 0 any number to the 0 or any variable to the power 0 will be always 1 already we know so that uh, this you can write as a d only instead of d into x to the power 0 we can write only d some example we will take the example of the cubic polynomial is x cube if you write only x cube you can take that it is an example so you can write x cube plus 2x also you can take root 2 x cube here root 2 this is a real number okay the coefficient can be any number any real number plus here x square plus you can take 2 these are all the examples of the cubic polynomial and the here important thing is that the degree degree of the quadratic quadratic polynomial degree of the quadratic polynomial is what 3 here and one more thing I would like to tell you my dear students listen carefully here in linear polynomial i will write a short form here linear polynomial is in the form of what ax plus b i told and a should not be equal to zero similarly quadratic what i what did i tell just before now quadratic will be in the form of ax square plus bx plus c here also a should not be equal to zero and here it is cubic polynomial means i told ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d here a should not be equal to what zero now see my dear students very important thing if a is zero here what happens this is a term and a is a coefficient of x here this is the constant term what is the coefficient of x square here a what is the coefficient of x here b what is this this is the constant c is a constant suppose here a is zero think that a is 0 in linear polynomial then this term will become 0 then it reduces to constant polynomial it reduces to what constant polynomial similarly you see my dear students in quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c i told here the condition is that a should not be equal to 0 suppose think that my dear students if a is 0 then this a is 0 the coefficient of x square is 0 then this whole term will become what 0 then it reduces to what it reduces to what 
it reduces to linear polynomial. See here, bx plus c means this reduces to what? Linear polynomial. Again, suppose a and b are 0. Again, this reduces to what? Constant polynomial. Suppose a and b are 0, it reduces, quadratic polynomial will reduce to what? Constant. Similarly, my dear students, in cubic polynomial also, we have the general form ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. Here I told that a should not be equal to 0. Suppose a is 0 in cubic polynomial, then this quadratic, this cubic polynomial will reduce to what, my dear student? It reduces to what? Quadratic polynomial. Suppose a and b are 0, then it reduces to linear polynomial. Then, suppose a, b, c, all three are 0, then we can say that this d is a constant polynomial. Let us see. So what is that constant polynomial? Okay. Constant polynomial. Constant polynomial. Any number, okay, like this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 1 by 2, root 2, any number, okay, any real number, belongs to real number. Okay, these are all are examples of constant polynomial. What is that next polynomial? Constant polynomial. Examples are 0, 1, 2, 3, 1 by 2, root 2, any real number, okay. So, very be careful my dear students, here this 0 is there, now. this 0 is there, just I will pick that one. 0 is a constant polynomial, 0 is a constant polynomial. Now, suppose if I say only 0, okay, this is known as 0 polynomial. What we can say this one? 0 polynomial. What we can say? This 0 is a 0 polynomial. Okay, Hello. constant polynomial can have 0 polynomial, but 0 polynomial also can have constant polynomial, but constant polynomials are not 0 polynomial. What, what my dear students? See, once again I will tell, 0 polynomial is a constant polynomial. But constant polynomials are not zero polynomials because if I take one example, then it is not a zero polynomial. If zero polynomial, it should have what? Zero. Okay. My, these we have studied now, my dear students. Uh, what? Uh, once again, we will revise here in polynomial chapter. This introduction part we told the algebraic expression I told and the types of the polynomials are linear, quadratic, and cubic polynomial I told. What is the general form of linear polynomial? Degree of the linear polynomial is one. And here degree of the quadratic polynomial is 2, degree of the quadratic polynomial is 3. Similarly, uh, what is the degree of the constant polynomial, my dear students? Can you guess? Okay, you comment in uh, next my video. Okay, my dear friends. Okay, thank you.